Hi guys, it's Sam and I am here today with a new video for you. Today I am going to show you what is on my TBR shelf. The books that I have gotten but have not yet read, just to show you, in case you were curious as to what I have left on my shelf. So, now let me show you what is on my TBR shelf. The first book on my TBR shelf is The Snow Walker by Katherine Fisher. I picked this one up a couple of months ago. It's not that well known. I never heard of it. I just happened to stumble across it on Amazon. I bought it used. It's a bind up, I think, of three books. I think this was originally three, but this, this has all of them in it. It looks intriguing. I like the cover. It looks very cool with the purple. The spine, got a little palisy thing there. So I just haven't read it yet, not for any particular reason, just other books have caught my attention. That's pretty much the same with all these books in this TBR shelf. There's no one reason why I haven't read them, just that other books have caught my attention. But that's the first book. The next book is one my mom lent me, and that is A Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. I have heard mixed reviews on this novel, but I'm curious to see how it is for myself because I haven't read any of her other books aside from Harry Potter, so I was glad she lent this to me. I hope to pick it up soon. I believe it's a mystery novel of some kind. If you guys have read this, let me know down in the comments what you thought of it because I'm interested to hear. The next book is another lend from one of my parents. This one from my dad. He lent this to me a very long time ago, and it is his edition of Animal Farm by George Orwell. I know this is a really, really good book, and I need to just read it because it's not that big. And as you can see, it's very old and well loved. But I hear nothing but good things about it, so I just need to pick it up and read it. The next book on my TV Red shelf is Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. I was hoping to get this read during the Catch Up Readathon, but it didn't really happen. Oops. It was a little busy that week. Again, this is one that my mom let me. She said it was really, really good. It's what the movie Practical Magic is based on, but from what she told me, it's very different and just as good as the movie, of course, because the books are always better, right? So that's the next one. The next book are the other two books in the Graceland Trilogy. I think that's what you call it. I'm not sure. Which is Fire and Bitter Blue. I need to read these because I liked Graceland. I just haven't gotten to it yet, but I'm excited to read them. I hear that the series just gets better. So I have these two books I still need to get to on my shelf. The next book is The House of Seven Gables by Nathaniel Hawthorne. I have this one be lent to me by my somebody in my house. It's either my sister or my mom. I can't remember who lent this to me now. This is a while ago. I should probably figure that out. Anyway, again, I've heard good things about this, so I'm excited to read it. It's another classic. The next book is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. I have heard nothing but amazing things about Brandon Sanderson, so I'm excited to get to this one. I'm hoping to get to it sometime in September. I'm anticipating. I'm hoping. We shall see. If I do like it, though, I will be replacing it with the UK covers because the UK covers are simply awesome and gorgeous, and the U US covers are hideous. They're, it's, it's pink. I'm not a pink girl. I'm a blue and purple girl. I'm not a pink girl. I mean, it's the lettering. I don't know if you can see it. The lettering. It's just. It's ugly. It's, it's ugly. It's ugly. The next book is *The Book Thief* by Marcus Zusak. Again, I've heard mixed reviews about this one. I haven't seen the movie or read the book. I'm interested to read this because I've again I've heard good things but I've also heard bad things so I will just read it and decide for myself. Next book is *City of Bones* by Cassandra Clark. Clar, Cassandra Clar, <laughs> by Cassandra Clare, and Clockwork Pints by Cassandra Clare. Again, her good things about these, her mixed reviews about this one, I hear it's like iffy, but they get better. And this one I've heard is even better than this series, so I'm excited to read them. This one I'm a little more excited about because I like the setting better than this one, but just haven't gotten to them yet. They, it'll happen, guys, it'll happen. In fact, in the last percent, Earth to read a Cassandra Clare book, so. It'll, it'll one day, it shall happen. The next book is Ruby Red by Kristen Gear. I love this book because of its cover. I haven't read it yet, so I can't love it because of its story because I don't know what it is yet. But it's pretty much a cover by it. Her good things about this trilogy, plus the covers are gorgeous, blue and green are the other two, so it'll happen soon. I hope. The next book was lent to me by my friend, and that is Hollow World by Michael J. Sullivan. If you watch my channel often, you will know that I love Michael J. Sullivan. His Theft of Swords, Right Your Revelation series up here is one of my favorite fantasy book series of all times. This is his sci-fi book, and she said it was okay. It wasn't as good as those, she says, but I'm excited to read it. I need to read it so I can get it back to her. Sorry, Amy. It'll happen soon. Skipping Christmas by John Grisham. This is the book that Christmas with the Cranks was based on, in case you were wondering, and I will probably read this around Christmas time. You know, Christmas themed. Seems appropriate. But again, this is one that my mom lent me and said was good and I need to read it. The next book out of my TBR shelf is Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch. This is the third book in the Gentleman Bastards series. I'm hoping to get to this one September 2 because I love the first two books. I need to read this one because the fourth book comes out in November, which I'm very excited about. The next book is King of Thorns by Mark Lawrence. This is also a sequel to another book. It is the second book in the 
Broken Empire trilogy, the first one being Prince of Thorns, which I read back in July, and I need to read this one because I love that book. Same reason as Public of Thieves, just need to do it, just finish the series up. The next book is The Once and Future King by T.H. White. Wonderful retellings of Arthurian legends, and I love Arthurian legends, so I'm excited to read this book. It looks like it'll be excellent, and I'm super excited, and I love the cover, and it just looks cool, and I need to read it. The next one is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Rowell. Rainbow Ro Rowell. Is it Rowell? I don't know. Sorry, guys. Basically, I'm the last person on BookTube to read this book, but I hear it's super cute, and it's fun. I don't read much contemporary, so I picked it up, and I need to read it soon. Like I keep saying with all of these books, I need to read them soon. It'll, you know, what else am I going to say? It's got to happen. The next book is another recent purchase, and that is Great Expectations by Charles Dickens and this gorgeous Barnes & Noble cover edition. It's a, it's a hunker, so I'll probably read this while reading something else, but I'm excited to read it because I love Charles Dickens. Wonderful characterization, wonderful storytelling. The next book is Phantom's Dance by Lisa Howard. I received this one for the author as a review book. It's a modern retelling of The Phantom of the Opera. It sounds really good, and I'm excited to read it. And plus, it's really big font, so I can't imagine it will take me that long to read it. But looks like it'll be cool. Next is Fairy Tales from Around the World by Andrew Lang. This is another classic. It's a collection of fairy tales compiled at the turn of the century by this Scottish guy, I think. Yes, Scottish writer. I will probably read this while reading other things, like read a short story out of here every once in a while, just until I get them all read, but I'm excited to read it. I think it would be cool to see, to read, rather, fairy tales from around the world. The last two books I need to read are from the Percy Jackson series, and that is The Battle of the Labyrinth and The Last Olympian. I already read the first three in August, and I loved it, and so I need to get to these. I'm hoping to finish it up in September. Very, very good books. I've been very impressed with them. Alright guys, those are all the books on my TBR shelf. What books are on your TBR shelf? Why don't you tell me and what you're hoping to read next? Let me know if you guys have read any of these books down in the comments and what you thought, what you think I should read next, what do you think I should get going on, and just, yeah, whatever you feel you want to throw down in the comments, throw it down in the comments. As always, if you liked, please thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, happy reading and bye!